So YouTube, we're back with another video and in this one I'm going to be showing you how to use Clay.com to scrape actually high quality leads because I've seen a massive problem in the market, right? There are so many lead scraping softwares out there, but most of them are trash because they don't actually give you the owner's information, which means that when you pitch your offer, it's not going to the owner. It's probably going to, you know, a gatekeeper, secretary, things like that. So I'm going to be showing you how to use Clay.com to enrich data and actually get the personal emails of who you want to target as well as just a bunch of other really good information and then i'm going to be showing you this um, cheat sheet that has every single software for you know cold emails cold dms you know linkedin you name it i'm going to give this away for free as well so yeah definitely stick to the end of this video and let's jump straight into it so once you're inside clay.com um, it's actually free to get started but you can see that you do have a free trial right here um, so I'm trying to replicate this as you would see it once you log in. So yeah, you would log in and the first thing you're going to do is actually click on new right here. And what we are going to do is create a table. So the reason I like clay.com over, you know, softwares like Apollo or, you know, lead gorilla, things like that is because you can essentially create your own kind of workflow, which means that you can scrape data that you want. Um, and it's not just giving you like surface level information, like the business email domain It's going to go a lot deeper than that. And that's what I want to show you right now. So you're going to click on find people. Um, so the reason we click on find people is because obviously we want to target people, not just the, uh, you know, gatekeeper and stuff like that. So once you click on find people, um, it will look something like this. And I'm not affiliated with Clay, by the way. I just wanted to make that clear from the start. Um, it's just a tool that I use. So, yeah, you know, click find people. And now you can choose the method. Uh, I would recommend having it as search query for the company attributes. This is just so you can, you know, select what company size you want to go for. So let's just do, I don't know, let's say 11 to 50 employees, uh, include one or more industries. So let's just say we want to target um, accounting and yeah, let's just keep it as accounting to make it really simple, but you'd put your niche there. Um, you would put anything you want to exclude right here. Um, and stuff like that. So the reason this is sick is because if you get like shit outputs from this, it's pretty much you, not the software. Um, so yeah, you can obviously select um, C-suite. So we want executives, like, you know, decision makers, things like that, not just like a generic um, receptionist seeing this. Um, so yeah, you can obviously include job functions right here. So if we do something like, um, I mean, you can honestly put whatever you want here. Um, so let's leave that, yeah, blank. But for job titles, we do want to put like, yeah, account executive, maybe accounting manager, um, things like that. Because obviously this one, this needs to go to the um, yeah, executives. So if you actually um, type that in, you can see that, yeah, you get all of these options. So let's also do CEO and you can obviously exclude um, things like, yeah, you know, basic like administrator and things like that. So um, once you've done that, just yeah, keep filling this out with whoever you want to target. It's actually really simple, like location is obviously important. That is one way you can get underexposed to leads. So as I was talking about at the start, one huge thing for a bomb setting is obviously lead sourcing. But most people, how they think is they go onto Apollo, they go onto these other softwares and they put in like New York in realtors. And what that means, um, oh, sorry, yeah, realtors in New York. Um, but what that means is that they're going to get the same bottom of the barrel leads that everyone else gets, making it near impossible to actually get an appointment booked because they're so like exposed to these types of b2b offers so if you can please do like your own country with um specific regions and cities because that's going to lower the exposure of these leads so that's really important um in this case yeah we can just do something like new york so let's do united uh united states and yeah regions um you can obviously uh yeah put that but actually let's do cities is like new york um or los angeles so yeah obviously try not to go for the big ones like i said but try and go for the ones that are local to, like to you because that's one of the main advantages you have when starting and it allows you to build that trust but um nonetheless once you um yeah go through this you can essentially um and keep watching because i'm going to show you how to actually uh like send these messages and have really good offers to um these people but this is just step one is obviously getting high quality leads that actually um yeah are going to see your offer so yeah just like that you can preview people now once you click this it is going to take uh maybe like 10 seconds so you can see just like that we have gotten 30 results and the reason we've only got 30 is because i actually put 30 as the uh, max but obviously you can do a lot more um yeah and bear in mind you can still get all of these on the free plan which is like pretty sick um but as you can see this has given us the uh, company name or their first name company name job title location 
and the LinkedIn, but we want to go one step further and actually use like AI to essentially like enrich this, meaning we want to get more information um, about you know, maybe their bio on LinkedIn, maybe their personal email, um, because yeah, we don't want to just have this as like the final result. So um, yeah, just down here, you can either import to a new table. So let's click that. Um, and here is the beautiful thing because you can add additional enrichments, meaning we can get um, more data. So we can fully enrich profile. Um, we can get the personal email. Um, so let's just do personal email enrich and work email so you can see that it does cost credits but i think you actually get a certain amount of free credits when you start so let's click continue save and run um, and just like that you know if you give it 10 seconds it will essentially work in the background and do its magic so you can see just like that um, it's managed to successfully add 30 rows um, including yeah, new york los angeles um, for accounting uh, C-suite owners, stuff like that. So um, this is honestly just scratching the surface and I haven't had to pay a single penny so far because this is on the free plan, which is like, you know, free leads, um, just like that. And you can obviously do this for any niche, any platform. Um, so what did it manage to scrape? Let's see. So you can see that using um, yeah Waterfall, it has managed to get like Rick's personal email right here. Like Think about that. I won't um, yeah, go on it because I don't want to yeah, share it, but you get the point. Like obviously some emails can be found, some can't be found, but the amount of um, you know, in-depth for like research it does to find these emails is is cracked. Like this is overpowered. This shouldn't be like a thing, but it is, and not many people are using it. Um so yeah, if it doesn't get their personal email, you can definitely get their work email. Um and the best part is you can actually verify this um like straight away. So if you can add enrichment, um you can do so much more. You can see here that you can use AI to write like email sequences you can do um enrich more personal in info you can like take this to the whole next level um so including scrape their website and stuff like that if we search for um like bio we can try and get that bio for one of their things so if we go here um you can see that yeah it's going to be using this so clear bit to essentially enrich like their bio um on their linkedin profile so like that's super sick so if we click save um it should yeah, do that for, you, know, you can see the amount of credits, uh, you do get a certain amount, I don't know how many you get for the free, but you need to um, yeah, change this and like you can get more information. So um, that's obviously super sick because when you reach out to people, obviously you need to include personalization, but you don't want to have to be the one researching like their company domain, for example. So yeah, you can do exactly that by adding more on top of it. So this is just scratching the surface of what you can do um, and hopefully like, this is kind of blowing your mind right now because yeah, it's going to get crazy in 2025 with more tools, more things coming out. And I'm actually working on my end to create something super sick around lead gen. So um, yeah, a lot of exciting stuff. But now let's get into, so this should have given you a bit of an intro into Clay and how to use it to enrich data. But now let me show you this, which I want to give you for free. So this is an all-in-one automation software cheat sheet because I know that this has helped you in terms of how to get like information and stuff you know, for whoever you're helping. But your next question that you're going to have watching this is, Charlie, how the hell do you reach out to them in an automated, streamlined way that is actually good? So what I've done is created this Google document. I'll put it in the description. First link for free, not charging anything. Um, I may send it to your email. Um, but yeah, super super sick because what I've done is uh, include a price comparison for like lead generation softwares. So you can see that like Appify is a great one. So if you don't want to use Clay, you can use Appify. Lead Gorilla 2.0, Find Email, Apollo, Phantom Buster, Clay. Like these are all amazing softwares that um, I've put in here. So yeah, same with cold emails. If you want to send cold emails, this is how you would do it. You, you know, you have these uh, six different softwares right here that you can use. And what I've done is actually do a price comparison um, from cheapest to most expensive. So if you get this data, you can very easily just click actions, export it into a CSV or straight into a CRM of your choice or just into a cold email software like smartly.ai. Um, but let's say you download it as a CSV, like boom, you're pretty much good to go. Um, so once you do that, um, yeah, you can essentially then upload it into one of these softwares depending on your budget. Um, now, what I've done is actually create a quick tip. So I won't go through all of this because you can read this in your own time. Um, but an insane tip if you want to send cold emails to prospects is what you can do is leverage instantly or smart leads free trial because if you are sending cold emails, you have to warm up a domain or multiple domains. That is a non-negotiable fact. 
If you don't warm up domains, you are not going to arrive in the prospects inbox. It's going to go into the spam folder. So you have to warm up domains. That's non-negotiable. But if you want a secret strategy for how you can make it free, what you can do is use instantly or smart leads free trial which essentially warm ups the emails and how that works, by the way, if you're curious, you know, when you use instantly or smartly, they have a network of users that allows a really high reply rate. Because if you buy a domain and then start sending cold emails out, that is going to raise red flags and suspicion on Google, right? Because that they see this brand new like account or domain just sending out a ton of emails with a really low reply rate, which is what happens when you send cold emails. So you know, to warm it up, you have to use instantly, which just sends it to other people in the network to make sure that it's got a high reply rate, looks human, but obviously you don't have to do that. So you use their free trial for 14 days. And then what you do is you essentially cancel that and then use Goal High Level's free trial, which is a, which will give you a 14 days, uh, another 14 days to actually send cold emails. But the best part is like instantly, Yes, it's cheap at $37, but they literally give you like 2,000 leads you can upload. So you can only upload 2,000 leads or 1,000 leads for 37 bucks. Whereas what you can do is use their free trial to obviously warm it up and then use uh, Go High Level's free trial to send unlimited emails. And it's like a hack because this will give you completely free, no risk, no payments, and it's going to give you a buffer to try and secure a few opportunities and appointments in your pipeline before you even pay a penny to any software. Like, I'm putting you on serious game right now. Like, I don't think you understand. No one else is going to tell you, like, these strategies because no one else has the insights that I have into the, you know, B2B space. So, yeah, this is by far the best way to go because I've been in your position before. I've had no money at one point many, many years ago. Um, but, yeah, this is, like, a, a really sick thing that you can do. Um, but, obviously, yeah, if you are seeing results, just keep paying the software. Um, but... Yeah, so now for cold DMs. So if you get information like Instagram DMs from here and you want to send automated Instagram DMs, once again, you can check it out right here. So boom, um, I put the price, stuff like that. Same with Facebook DMs. You've got Messenger Flow, uh, LinkedIn DMs. You know, I've put them in order right here. So Duck Soup, uh, Zobto, Expandy, WeConnect, um, Linked Helper, that's a really good one. So Linked Helper and Duck Soup are the two that I've heard of personally. Um, and once again, I've done a price comparison. So you can see right here, the very cheap um, offers a free plan, boom, like you're good to go. So this will be in the description um, and you can obviously yeah, use it to your advantage to um, yeah make sure to you automate and save time when reaching out to prospects. But hopefully this video has been valuable because yeah you now know how to enrich data, get really good high quality leads and you should know how to reach out to them using these automated softwares which you can get um, in the description. So yeah, if you enjoyed, just drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Um, and yeah, feel free to join the community if you are serious about using AI and automation in your business and you want to scale to big, big numbers. Um, but besides that, definitely subscribe because I've got so many videos coming soon. And yeah, I'll put some videos up here that you can watch. I'll see you in the next video.